how did I end up in it? In a very straightforward way, really. The email arrived in my inbox saying, M. Night Shyamalan's next film. There are a couple of audition scenes. Wasn't allowed to read the script, obviously, or know anything about it no. at all. Did an audition tape, then Zoomed with him for an hour and a half, which was very intense, but he still wouldn't tell me any de more details. And then uh, three days later, I got a phone call from him saying... I'd like you to be in this film. You have 24 hours to read the script. The link will explode after six hours. Once you click on it, you've got to decide. And no one else, like none of my agents or anyone, anyone was allowed to read it. So a very mysterious process. And we should also mention, uh, if people want to see your beautiful face, it's on the cover of Attitude magazine. It is, yes. On newsstand now. Not just my face. It's, but no, it, it's, no, no, just it's a full body shot. It's a... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there are some legs in there as well. Okay. Um, was it Instagram you came out on yeah. in 2020? Something that had kind of been percolating for a long time, I think. And we were in our first lockdown, I think, a time of introspection. And we were all reckoning various things that were happening around the world. And in my 20s, I was definitely given the information that it would hinder my career. And I, you know, absorbed that via osmosis, but also some direct conversations. And then I just, I really just did it for myself. I did it, I did it, I pressed kind of the post button in a kind of, with calculated risk in a way. I, I, I thought it still might affect my career or my opportunities and thought well actually do you know what I, I'm more interested in being authentic and, and claiming my identity uh, if anyone doesn't want to work with me because I'm gay then I don't want to work with them well, that's what I always think